Police chases across the country kill hundreds of people each year, thousands more are injured, and while lives are ruined, the financial cost to police departments and city and county governments is also staggering. Tonight, News 5's Bill Riles takes a look at the problem and some of the ways police departments and others are trying to manage the risk and curtail the high cost of the chase. Well, just since the first of 2019, News 5 has covered as many as two dozen police chases, some with deadly consequences. And statistics show the vast majority of those chases were unnecessary. Look quick or you'll miss it. A cop in pursuit of a vehicle fires a small sticky missile, a sensor that will stick to the car and can be tracked by GPS. Once deployed, officers can pull off of the chase and track a suspect, making an arrest later. Uh, when the technology is used effectively, it slows everything down as far as the events that you, you normally would think of with a high-speed pursuit. Trevor Fishbach runs Star Chase, the company that developed the technology. You, know, you drop the adrenaline. Uh, you're, you're better able to manage the existing fleet of vehicles that you have. It's being used now by departments in 21 states, and for good reason. Each year, more than 50,000 people are injured in police chases, including police officers, the suspects being chased, and often innocent bystanders. On my left side, my shoulder, my arm still getting on. Mobile police were chasing suspects in a stolen car when it hit the vehicle Chevelle Campbell and her daughter were in. But too often, police chases turned deadly, like this one on Interstate 10 in Baldwin County, April 1st. Father and son Joseph and Kevin Andrews were killed as deputies chased a car that ended up going the wrong direction, crashing into Andrews' car. Each year, on average, 355 people lose their lives in police chases. About a third of those are innocent victims. Statistics show that 91% of pursuits are in response to nonviolent crimes. Look at it from a risk management standpoint. How do we, how do we manage those risks? And the way that we manage those risks is writing good policies and good training. Tom Gleason is a retired police captain and now works with the group PursuitSafety.org, which works to reduce needless deaths and injuries in police chases. Gleason says one of the keys is for police departments to have a clearly written pursuit policy. Those policies vary among departments. We wanted to know what kind of written pursuit policies departments along the Gulf Coast have. Florida departments responded and appear to have somewhat restricted policies. The Alabama departments we contacted either declined or did not respond. Many of the police chases we've covered in the last four months involve Mobile Police, who did not respond to a request for their written policy. But Chief Lawrence Batiste has talked about their response in the past. If we're going to be pursuing, we're going to be taking somebody off the street that has shown the propensity to be violent and to have a total disregard for the public safety. Mobile police have at least looked at the Star Chase system in just the past few weeks. At the moment, they've determined that the $6,000 price tag to equip vehicles is too steep. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.